Cassandra, we're joined by a number of people on mm -hmm. our set. We sure really are. Looking really gorgeous today. Yes, and we're going to tell you about SIF. If you're wondering what that means, it's all about a small island festival. You're going to hear more about it, small island future fest. And uh, to tell you more about it, we have closer to me, Karen Barker. She is program assistant with the GEF Small Grants Program, UNDP. Good morning. Good morning. Next to her, we have Mr. Steve Porter of Live Earth. Good, Good morning. morning to you as well. Happy to have you here. And of course, you will be hearing about the role of each of these guests this morning. And across the table, we have Shea Greenwich. Good morning. Good morning to you. And uh, Shea Greenwich is with the Future Center Trust. And uh, we also have Shelly Ann Cox of Blue Green Initiative. And she's also the event coordinator for the Small Island Future Fest. Good, Good morning, morning. Cassandra. Good everybody. Morning. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> so you're the coordinator. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. What is this Small Island Future Fest? Well, Small Island Future Fest, we've been branding it the premier Caribbean environmental festival mm -hmm. and it's an immersive experience we want to take the message of environmental sustainability and make it interactive we want to include arts food film um, the whole work so us as scientists we usually have a disconnect with the normal public mm -hmm. and we thought that this would be the best platform to get the environmental message over to the general public well, I want uh, Ms. Barker, Mrs. Barker, to tell us a bit about uh, mm -hmm. the the program itself and this mm -hmm. festival and the significance of it for your office. Okay. Well, the Just Small Grants program implemented by the UNDP, the Small Agent Future Festival actually has come out of our traditional green knowledge fairs, mm -hmm. and we've had two green knowledge fairs. One, well, it would have started in 2016 mm -hmm. um, at the Lord Erskine Sandifer Center, as well as in 2017 at the Queen's Park. So now we've decided that we need to reach more persons, make it more friendly to the public, and we've rebranded it as the Small Island Future Festival. So basically our grantees, the program is usually implemented by, the, by a grantee organization mm -hmm. to assist them with capacity building. And these are all grantees? These are all the grantees morning. from mm -hmm. the program, Steve, as well as um, from Jeez. Life Earth, mm -hmm. Shea from Future, Future Center Trust, as well as BGI. No, BGI and which is Blue Green Initiative and Future Center Trust are collaborating to implement the festival. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we are at some point we will share with you a little clip uh, that will give you a snippet of mm -hmm. how this will all come together to give you an idea of the kind of feel that they want to create for SIF. Uh, but maybe let's also hear impact. Let's go with ladies first. <laughs> always, <laughs> always. <laughs> Hold on, Steve. Mm -hmm. So, Shay, let's hear from you and uh, the Future Center Trust involvement and what this means for you. Well, it's really important for us because we would have actually started with the National Green Knowledge Fair in 2016 and 2017. Mm -hmm. We play a pretty instrumental role in terms of the logistics of the event coordinating it. Um, I would not have been there at that point in time, but I've heard so much about the National Green Knowledge Fair. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of engagement with the schools and the students, and that's always a, a really good thing for me. I really enjoy that part of it. Yeah. So this time around, we're going to be having the students in debate competitions. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for that one because we have a special guest ah. judge. <laughs> um, so we're going to be engaging the schools. They're going to be coming out on the first day of the festival. It's mainly for the students. Um, so they'll be having very exciting activities in our opening ceremony. And we're going to just be inviting them all to come out mm -hmm. and see the demonstrations because the whole point of it is to just capture the audience and then show them what sustainability can do for them, nice. how they can incorporate it into their everyday lives. And so for Future Center Trust, where we're so focused on environmental conservation and sustainability, mm -hmm. that's a win for us. Nice. Are you seeing the change? Ah, we, we are slowly seeing the change. I mean, from the youngest students, they're so adorable just to see how they are so interested in it and protecting the environment. We're seeing it starting with the kids. And so I'm very hopeful that they're going to take it into their homes, you know, start to influence their parents mm -hmm. and their families. So. I think it's coming. It's coming. The okay. wave is coming. So it's the excitement that uh, you're using as a marker of change. Yes. In terms of behavior, what else are you seeing? 
Uh, with behavior, I mean, we have our Cleanup Barbados event every September. And so far, we've been doing cleanups during the year as well. And I'm finding on mm -hmm. our cleanups that there's less and less garbage. So for me, that's an indicator that we are making progress. So I'm going to just be doing my best. And we're going to all be working together collaboratively mm -hmm. to just keep pressing for the change that we want to see. Because we know for sure mm -hmm. that the wave of sustainability is coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a good point for uh, Mr. Porter yes, <laughs> to chime in. Tell us a bit about life. Live Earth's involvement? You know, Live Earth's involvement with the festival is really focused around making sure we practice what we preach. Mm -hmm. um, so we're talking about a festival that's all about sustainability. So Live Earth is engaged, for example, in having separated waste collection happen at the facility so that we can show people practically, mm -hmm. you know, how to do things the way that we're going to have to do them moving forward. Um, ensuring that everything that we do at the festival is is very green and sustainable so we're not just sitting there preaching to people yeah. uh, but we're doing it ourselves mm -hmm. uh, that's you know that's sort of livers big mantra in everything that we do um, George Gill who founded the company his thing is proof of life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so don't just say it do it as well and prove mm -hmm. that it can be done so that's sort of where um, our engagement comes in you know we've got a fantastic team here that's been working really hard to put this together um, I think it's going to be um, <laughs> a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically where we come into play with the whole thing. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. So this must make you, and I know David Bino isn't here this morning, but <laughs> he loves <laughs> these stories because yeah. he sees it as another step, you know, uh, where you're getting that awareness and engagement from civil society. And that is critical for you to keep civil society engaged. Very much so. Um, you would see through our grantees that their work within their own communities you know often enough you don't see that work you don't hear about it and we're here to tell the story mm -hmm. so when you come out to the small island future festival on the 28th and the 29th of june you will see the grantee projects you will see the speakers you'll be able to engage with them um, the schools as well as public the, uh, the general public will get to see what we've been doing what the grantees have been doing in addition to what the work of the United Nations has been doing because we will have a one UN village as well nice nice yes, so yes. the village of hope started back in the 90s Pearson that happened at yeah. the BCC mm -hmm. and we get another opportunity yes. where, yeah. where is this event it's at the Pelican Center mm -hmm. but everyone knows it as Pelican, Pelican village. village yeah we know, we know the place <laughs> yeah. when is it um, the 28th and 29th of June, uh, we start 8 a.m. on Friday and close around 8 p.m. On Saturday, we start at 6 a.m. because we have a nice 5K fun walk and run. Nice 5K. Walk. Yeah, and run. Yeah. Walk yeah. And you run. can choose uh -huh. to walk. Yes, and we have an exciting feature of the event, the 12-hour spin marathon. And that starts at six as well. You, when you say spin, you mean like spin, spin with a bang yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. You know so what? There people with a lot more energy than myself. It's, yeah. great. Yes. Myself. it's yeah. great talking about this, but let's take a quick look at this. We want to show you how exciting it will look and mm -hmm. feel as well. Small islands, the Caribbean. His vibrant cultures, intoxicating music. His good food, unforgettable vacations, and electrifying sportsmanship. But the Caribbean is more than that. His unique innovations, unbridled strength in the face of climate impacts, and year after year after year, small islands in the region continue to make a big splash on the global stage. SIP is about celebrating all the things that make small islands amazing. It's about sustainability, about inspiring action towards building a brighter future. A bright future is one that's focused on good food, food security, public health, strong productive youth, youth empowerment, jobs, strong families, gender equality, economic productivity and sustainable livelihoods. Talking about a future that's better for all of us. Mm -hmm. no Everybody wants a future that is better for each of us. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes, yeah. definitely. Okay, so we want to round things off. Uh, but Steve, I, you know, you didn't exactly say what Live Earth does. What can you, in a nutshell? Yeah, in a nutshell. <laughs> I mean, listen, Live Earth, what we do is we will help anybody who has um, 
environmental challenges, sustainability challenges. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're a, a community group, a business, whatever it is, and you say, listen, I want to do better, um, we'll come in, we'll help you organize your waste streams. We have energy consultants that we work with. We have design engineers that we work with. Really whatever it takes to help you get from where you are today to where you want to go to help make the world a better, greener, more sustainable place. And the funny thing is that in today's world, uh, and I think we've all seen this, mm -hmm. it's not only better for the planet, it ends up being better for your pocketbook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win. You want that. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know anybody that doesn't want to save money and have a nice tree next to them. You know yes. what I mean? There's, there's yes. not a lot of people that don't tick both of those boxes. So it's true. We, we really work on helping people get from where they are today to that sort yeah. of, that utopia. Yeah. So Shelly, I want everybody there on June 20th and 29th. There's yep. something for everybody. Mm -hmm. We have Zumba. We have food trucks. Um, we have Lane fish blue and green, green businesses for the mm -hmm. fisher folk. Mm -hmm. Fisher folks day is also the 29th of June. We have a boat race, mm -hmm. something that would attract a lot of persons. We have the lionfish derby. A lot of persons still haven't sampled the derby. So mm -hmm. after the derby, we have a fillet competition and a cook-off. Um, we have the Governor General, who's the patron of the event as well. Mm -hmm. So at the highest level, persons are endorsing this event, and we want participation from the Barbados Excellent. Pop population. Excellent. Yeah. All right, Karen, final word, if someone mm -hmm. wants to become a grantee, how do they do that? Well, basically, Seconds. if you have an idea, a project concept, um, you simply reach out to us at the Small Grants Program. You can email me at karen.barker at undp.org. You can also contact David. His email is david.bueno at umpp.org. Just send us a quick email. Let us know what you're thinking about, and we can help you develop your project. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so very much Thank for sharing you. with us. Thanks, on for, having us. Thanks for having us.